I'm sorry that the video got interrupted, but to no pick problem. up where we left off, I kind of wanted to um, also talk about any other ways that you've been affected throughout this time or, you know, just any type of situation that might be on your mind that you want to speak about um, to kind of um, resume things. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's been a lot to juggle. Um, when the grandchildren uh, came, I was actually working um, for a company from home for the last two years and okay. they closed down due to the COVID. So then I had to revamp and then take care of them and do virtual learning, which was, oh my gosh, that was difficult for a uh, one was seven going into first grade with special needs he has cp as well and then another one was going into fourth grade so you can imagine the two different aspects you know so and then the one that had the physical challenges required my attention 24 7 so it was like it was a uh, very challenging at times so then to go back into, okay, now it's time to take care of me again. I really am struggling with that because I don't know how to make me a priority, but I've been working on it. Wow. <laughs> that that's sounds a like a lot on your hands. Yes, that's a lot. I can only imagine how you would balance days where both of you guys were, you know, you and your grandchild that has the special needs like have to go through whatever the cerebral palsy might cause um, mm -hmm. that is a lot to juggle <laughs> yes definitely definitely right so now that they have returned back home um i'm sure it's a little bit easier now having that well, yes. less amount of stress it's definitely <laughs> easier because i used to have to get up um by 6, 6.30 every morning and make sure he had his medicine and then make sure the medicine took effect and make sure he started his day and then give the other one attention as well. And, you know, and then my day wouldn't end till eight, nine o'clock at night because of homework and everything else. And then feeding them dinner and, you know, all of that. And that's a, for any parent, that's 24 seven. Absolutely. You know, and I'm taking on the parenting role for about seven months. So that was difficult. So now to go back to just me, you know, and my husband and the dog, it's just, you know, it's a lot. Um, but I'm working through it and I make certain times during the day that are just devoted to me. So in the morning, um, I take an hour out for myself and okay. I go and I do the exercise and I meditate and I read my word and then in the evening I do it again all over again for another hour. So I give myself two hours a day that I never gave myself before. So I'm 51 and just learning how to self-care. So definitely a challenge at times. And that's a great thing because I think especially now um, self-care is very important for the sake of your mental health, um, oh, yes. <laughs> you know, because right now it's really been a struggle in the world. So I can only imagine in a household dealing with all of these things. Um, what are some of the other things that you do throughout the day or do you only take those two hours and just get everything done for yourself? Well, I take those two hours and get everything done for myself. Okay. And then um, I started a new job. So I'm in class for eight hours a day. And that's been a struggle because just learning different things and competing with people that are 20 and 30 it, in the workforce is difficult and just remembering certain things with the computers and stuff like that has been a challenge and then I'm I'm starting a whole new career it's in the um assisting um it's in the assisted medical um area so it's like I'm a preventative health care um advisor now which I got to practice what I keep uh Lord, I gotta practice what I um what I preach, so to speak. So I have to actually start preventative health care for myself, and part of that is taking care of me. Right. And so, are you excited about getting into a different career field? How does that feel? Um, it feels uh, exciting at times, but it feels scary at times. But I just know I can do it, so I'm just gonna do it. 
I can imagine that like beginning something new can be, you know, a little scary, but it's good to know that you're excited about beginning this new journey, especially after, you know, going through what happened with the first job prior to the pandemic, you know, and having to kind of start all over. So how do you feel like, have you started it yet? Has the transition begun? How's it yes, going? Yes, it's going great. Um, I'm probably within the top 2% of the class. So, I mean, I push myself. That's what I do. So I, I'm an overachiever, always been an overachiever. So nothing's going to change there. And I'm not scared of new experiences. Um, I get a little anxiety every now and then, like anybody else does, but I always learning to put one foot in front of the other and just get it done. Okay. And one thing that I've noticed as we've talked, you know, between you speaking about how you would do for your grandchildren, how you would do for your husband, um, and also, you know, just the ways that you have to make time to dedicate for yourself, it seems like you do a lot for other people, but sometimes struggle with having that balance of knowing when to do for yourself. So um, I'm wondering if I'm correct in that. How do you feel about that? Yes, definitely. I always seem to be last on the totem pole. And how has that impacted you lately? Do you feel like um, that causes any additional stress or are you getting a much better handle on really doing for yourself? Like, how has that impacted you? I think I'm getting a much better handle on it because in the past, I've always had no boundaries where I say yes to whoever. If they're in need of me, 